know you heard that exhaust it does not sound great at least not to me it may sound decent in this video but in real life this thing is hella annoying and there is another reason why we are creating this banger here welcome back hope you guys are doing well but there's a reason the reason is because recently your boy got stopped by the police i was just cruising down the street i-20 you feel me this bad boy was making too much noise the cop was outside <clears throat> and all of a sudden he decided to go after me and he was like yep you know why i stopped you i was like no he's like i stopped you for exhaust your exhaust is too loud i was like yeah i know and he kind of just laughed and he was like why haven't you changed it i was like well I just bought it like this, stuff like that. He went on with it. Anyways, he was cool. I do appreciate him for being cool. But it is time to change the exhaust. And I managed to find one for a very, very good price. And it is used. Nonetheless, it's still, still going to be a good one. And it's not like used to the point where it's like really damaged. So check this out. We got an HKS high power exhaust. Like I said, it is in almost mint condition. As you guys can see, here you go, you got a little HKS there, high power, you can barely see it. It says she's mad clean. And we will be installing it because this big old ugly duckling that's under this thing is just monstrous. Sounds disgusting to me, but we're going to be trying to change that here soon. And uh, hopefully sounds great. Also, if you haven't seen the recent video where I revealed the new toy, the new Integra, that Integra actually has a high power exhaust and that thing sounds absolutely amazing. So I know for a fact that the EM1 is going to sound good with this exhaust. This may be a two day project because it took me a minute to get this thing going and your boys has been slightly lazy. So this is on me, but we're going to get to it. At least give it a shot. I did semi mock it up because I wasn't 100% sure if this was actually one, two the Civic since it is used the guy claimed that it is for a coupe Civic so it should work EK uh, but the way it's looking it's looking kind of rough so I'm gonna try to remove this one unsure of the bolts we got hella different sockets and we're gonna give it a shot all these bolts and sizes they may vary on yours uh, but they're all probably similar when, if you have the right uh, bolts and such but this guy, we're going to start on the exhaust side. It has no resonator. As you can see, that thing is just straight pipe with an exhaust. You will need two different uh, ratchets or ranches to hold one side and then take out the other. Just in case you're just trying to figure this out yourself. And one thing, very, very important thing. Make sure you have as secure as possible. I got this thing all slanted to one side basically the left side where most of the exhaust kind of sits and then it'll go to the middle but make sure this thing is safe as possible check out this pipe though this pipe is about pretty sure it's about three inches in and yeah we do not need that we just need like this thing is either three this thing is probably two or one and a half or so we don't need all this this is a stock motor and our next one is this pipe right here which i'm not mistaken typically the resonator is there but this guy has none. You guys see how I got this set up. Basically like that. Hold one. And turn the other. And another reason why I needed a whole new exhaust. Look at this joker. Sheesh. That low life. You know it. But yeah. This thing is toasted. And another thing is. You know. This setup that I got going on. Definitely not good. If you're kind of heavier set. Because you'll get, definitely get stuck in there. That's just a side note. But take that as some motivation to get in shape. Maybe. And then you get to this point. If you can see it. There is three bolts on this one. If not mistaken. This is connected to this, what they call the down pipe. Uh, I'm no exhaust expert to keep it real with y'all. But I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. It's connected to the headers there. Uh, maybe call something else. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong. Now taking off that last one. Definitely has me wishing... I had a lift for the whip because boy, my like, ugh, my neck gone. I'm broken in pieces, but we got it. There it is. Look at that. Jeez. Car's mad low. What can I say? I did buy some new uh, gaskets uh, because some of them are blown out on the old ones. If the old ones aren't too bad. I mean, I, they're still good to use, you know, I wouldn't mind. The only problem I'm having though is when you have the exhaust, typically 
it would flow through here right above the lower control arm uh, but this one is not flowing into that so I don't like the way it's sitting here mad low so I'm gonna see if I can do anything if not then uh I might figure something out so we're gonna try it anyways we're gonna see how it ends up looking but you see here I got the bolts in you know and then you could put your actual gasket over the bolts like so so it'll just hang on so you don't have to be struggling to put this thing on but there we go and then attach the other end and boom we got that one connected and then we got the next one right here to connect and then we'll connect the last one there with the three bolts I'm not sure if you guys can see it but I made a slight newbie mistake I guess you could say but I didn't know once you kind of did loosen that I didn't know you could probably actually shift that in a direction where it would actually line up with this one so i've already taken it off the spring and all that bolt is there so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna connect this then attach it to that and we should be 100 percent exhausting i am exhausted from actually doing this just a tad at least all right check it out fam i got these tree connected now the reason i said it was like a rookie mistake is because that guy right there you can kind of see it swivels it'll move so we could have just shifted it right on that end there. Uh, you can barely see it. Uh, let me see one sec. That end right there. So this flange here, it does swivel. So I didn't, you know, check into that. But it'll swivel and it'll put itself in a place, if not mistaken. So these are, I got to tighten these up and then throw it up there and then we go cheat. I will say this though. Most of these bolts that I put in, at least like 50% of these, I've just tighten them by not even looking at them just by how tight this place this space is here so yeah if you ever got a lift props to you my boy that you could afford it because that crap's expensive or if you got a shop props to you but if you do it out here without no lift props to you as well because this junk is hard unless you lift this up on all fours uh with you know all the stands and everything that would have been dope but the garage is full and everything's uneven so this is the best i could do to stay as safe as possible but this junk sucks to say the least but we getting it done we not stop we're not giving up so i just got to connect a few things and i think i'll turn it on tomorrow for you guys and then we'll rev it up run it up hopefully it sounds great i'm just a little bit iffy on the fitment because of how low this car is so i may have to switch a few things uh, but that'll be for the future for now we'll run it and see how see how it works all right fam so Thank God last night we managed to get the exhaust all buttoned up. We managed to twist that little that straight pipe to the point where it'll meet the uh, the actual exhaust. Uh, that worked out. Thank God I had my little broski for helping me out. And we managed to get that all buttoned up. So we're ready to blast this thing off and turn it on and get her going so you guys can hear it. I'm about to show you guys what I don't like and kind of what I, you know, what's, it still sounds great though. Just show you a little... I'm just being picky, but let me show you. It's kind of hard to see, but if you can see, you see, the, there, you, there, there we go. You can see it now. The exhaust doesn't exactly line up in the position where I would like it to be. Uh, other than that, I think that's the most annoying thing at the moment. Uh, let's check the bottom. She is kind of low, as you can tell, but that's just, that's just how we roll. Uh, everything is buttoned up. I did manage to get those uh, little rubber hanger, hangers. For the exhaust i'm not sure if you can see it from here but yes those are actually dope and it's got it hanging just right and stiff as it can be all right fam i'm gonna give you guys a little fresh start let's see what it sounds like i know it's mad quiet because i turned it on last night but just for you guys to listen to it <laughs> So yeah, this thing is hella quiet now, so I shouldn't have any cops or the neighbors giving me any complaints from now on, so we should be good to go. But I do a few flybys for you guys so you guys can actually listen to it. And uh, I think she sounds good once you, got, once you get stepping on it a little deeper, but it sounds great. I don't know about you guys but after just hearing it actually this time because last night i didn't really step on or anything you know people was late it was like 12 something whatever as soon as i actually got done 
but this car sounds so much better that high power HKS high power exhaust excellent nice touch to any whip it is stock like I said so it's nothing crazy it's got like a boat some headers uh, maybe a few other things but mainly just headers and that's it that's all she has and then she sounds just like that fam imagine if it had VTEC and that thing just pops but you know she doesn't it's a B20 motor just in case you guys didn't know uh, but it does sound great to be honest I love it and I know the sister's gonna love it I do appreciate you guys watching this banger hope you guys have a great day catch you guys on the flip